Hello everyone, Jake Fox 84 here, and welcome to another um, update dissect. I have to come up with something a little bit more clever, but basically, if you don't know what an uh, update dissect is, is we go in, we look at the new updates. You know, we so you tell this means for the uh, you know you as a player and whatnot. Basically, the dev blog, the dev blog dissect just for the update. Now. I had some plans and they didn't quite fizzle out, so I, I wanted to get some Albion content up for you guys today. Um, now, by the time this goes live, um, the Albion up video should be uploaded and this should be live hopefully by the end of the day. And today is Friday, so this is either going to be uploaded, you know, really late Friday or really early Saturday morning. Um, you know, I do apologize, but. Um, I had some stuff to take care of. Um, I got went down to the store. I got my paintball mask, uh, and I got a new paintball marker, paintball gun, basically. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I was uh, then I had to work, so you know I'll let you guys know how the new uh, gun works out for me. Uh, Sunday or Monday, I go paintballing with my buddy uh, Sunday. So, so without kind of further ado, enough of my boring life. We will get right into it. So this is Foxhole 0.0.34, the final update before early access. I have to think about that though. This will be the final update before early access. And to put this even more in perspective, early access is less than a week away. Look, I mean, that's amazing, guys. You know, hard to believe like a year ago, you know, we started. Although, hmm, update 0.033. Or is it 0 0.034? Eh, eh, eh. Nah, anyways. Uh, that little, you know, typo there. Anyways, so, first thing that I want to say is, I don't know, this might just be me, but the player model doesn't look like a colonial or a warden to me. That just looks like me. It looks more like a camo camouflaged uh, p player model. Um, that's just my personal opinion. You know, if you guys agree with me, let me know. If you, if you do, or if, you know, if I'm crazy, let me know if I'm crazy. So, kind of without further ado, um, as per normal, they will be rolling this out over the next 24 hours. Um, just, you know, normal, uh, standard dev update stuff. Now, really huge changes. Um, as you can see, it said right here, the uh, resource gathering changes, okay? Really, really huge. And I'm glad they finally are starting to listen to us, okay? Now, is it what I wanted? No, but it is a step in the right direction, and devs, I, I appreciate it, and thank you for your uh, listening. So, they reworked the resource gathering system. So, now the gathering speed of most, now this is important, most resources, is increased significantly. Uh, scrap is now gathered at 300% rate. So, now instead of, I don't know exactly off my head, I want to say it was like 4 or 5, it's now going to be like 12 to 15. So, yeah, um, the amount of resources per node has increased. So, scrap node has 100 instead of 14 scrap. Yeah, I want to say it was 4 then. 4 to 5, I want to say is what it was. So, that means basically each node is going to last way longer. Um, although, granted, at 300% rate, figured they would have had to triple this so they did more than triple which was nice the respawn time of nodes is now longer um, scrap nodes now respawn after 200 seconds instead of 14 seconds so instead of it responding 14 seconds it's going to respawn in three minutes and 20 seconds so that is important to keep in uh, mind the chance to yield uh, tech parts has increased uh, 200 percent um, now this I believe um, overall they decreased I want to say by 66% a while back so this is a reversal of that and then an extra 144% so that's nice um, so nice changes for everyone that they've been asking for all vehicles can now be uh, squad claimed and have their inventory locked um, before the half track was not and neither was the uh, construction vehicle I don't I'm not sure about the um, the um, why can't I think motorcycle and artillery? I mean, it's built in the vehicle factory, but I don't know if it was be counted as a vehicle or not. Uh, personally, I would because I mean, you know, just ignore that. Um, and then now, starter towns now have 2,000 basic materials in their stockpile, so you can see a little bit more of an earlier game rush. 
um, definitely with this because now you won't have that, you know, 5-10 minutes where people are gathering resources, there will already be those uh, available. Now, these ch changes, I, I'm really glad they did it, you know, they, they identified that they had an issue with logistics in the game, and they're trying to alleviate that, and, and I appreciate this, you know, but where's my harvester, Mark Foot? Come on, Mark, I know, I know you know. I know you know. Come on, Harvester, let's see it, please. Um, <laughs> now, in terms of game balance, although this was, you know, game balance or whatnot, um, all the passive defensive structures have an increased ramp up time before they fire on enemies. So, basically, if you don't know, ramp up time before they can go ahead and you start firing, so a bit warm up time, you know, reaction time, whatever you want to call it. So, this is just to make it a little bit less. Um, the AI a little bit less potent. Um, gun nest, uh, gun nest frag grenade throw distance decreased by thirty percent. I I really do appreciate that, but I'd also like to see it. Um, not only the range, but the uh, timing of how quickly they can get it out decreased as well. Um, I I'm a twenty five percent decrease in the rate of fire on that would be uh, a very appreciated. I'd say the gun turret no longer targets infantry. I think this is the biggest change personally because that i know is going to screw over a lot of plans because before you could just do a gun turret um spam and ain't no infantry getting past that you know unless you pulled you know the russians and enemy at the gates out of your you know your rear end but you know the, the gun turret spam was real <laughs> so i'm glad they fixed that um the gun turret fires at targets uh beyond its normal range of fired upon first so now, I don't know what the line of sight is and what its effective range is, but if I'm shelling you with a field artillery piece, right, am I now opening myself up to fire? You know, if I'm shelling you, say, at 100, a distance of 150 meters, will I be open to fire from the um, from the gun turret? You know, where, is there going to be a limit to this, like, say, at 100 meters or something like that? Um, or will it just work where it has to be in its direct line of sight? You know, something like that, you know. Um, and then frag grenade basic material cost increased by 25%. I believe last update they also nerfed that as well. So seeing some uh, them trying to nerf uh, grenades. Um, then other changes. Um, there will be how-to on this up also today. Um, after this, I'm actually doing that right. After this video, I'm going to go ahead and record the how-to player profiles. Very simple, but, you know, should probably do it. Uh, basic uh, player profiles framework, bare bones feature for testing out uh, networking backend. Um, I had a video planned for another video planned for today, which was for the uh, dev build that um, I didn't end up uploading like anything today, so I apologize. And it'd be kind of stupid to upload a uh, video on the dev build when the uh, build is already up, you know. But um, I'm, I'll see if I go over some of my gripes. But basically, my gripes was yesterday was it was a bare bone funk feature that was you know my main one. But my main 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 one was I couldn't type enough. Um, yeah, I I'll pull up what I if I have it saved I'll pull it up. But I basically wrote a mini bio, so I'll see if I can't find it, and I'll uh, show you guys what I wanted. Um, now what let's see oh my god they did it i think this is a low-key acceptance to my suggestion pre-alpha players will have a medal on their profile that's right hey now devs if you have that plan to lawn you know cool but hey if you accepted my suggestion you were real one i appreciate it um, you can edit profiles from the main menu. I like I said, I will go over do that. See other players' profiles by clicking on names on the player screen. I will show you how to do that as well. And then stockpile items have a reorganized so similar items are grouped together. Um, I don't follow, so I'd have I'm not to look at that in game. Um, the HUD fuel meter now represents total fuel remaining instead of what remains on the currently oops, consumed uh, fuel item. So basically, as before, it just kind of showed you, you know, that one gallon you had in there. Now it's going to go ahead and show you um, the total. 
Um, let's see, next up, the camera can now be rotated using the, uh, arrow, not arrow keys, the, uh, oh god, what are those called? I just call them the greater than less sign keys. Uh, kind of throw back just some math there for you, if you've been out of school for a while. And then, major bug fixes, squad members can now unlock squad claimed trucks. Um, I think before, only officers could do it, or the person who locked it could. Um... Next up, uh, fix a bug that causes ammo to sometimes not reload even though the animation plays. I have suffered from that um, before. Rifle ammo can no longer be used to load frag grenades into the rifle grenade launcher from the backpack. Um, I've never seen that used or have happened, so... Text chat mute on the player screen now works again. I didn't even know he could mute to be honest. Oh, player wise, I was thinking the whole chat, never mind. Uh, Non-squad members can no longer lock slash unlocked claim vehicles that are not locked. I have done that before and I felt like a douche. <laughs> Server browser now properly displays day one instead of day zero at certain times. And server no longer crashes occasionally when loaded into a new war. Um, and now let's see what people are reacting to. Thumbs up, love you emoji. Praise the one update that fixed the game from my boy AT Golden. With all these new squad locked vehicles, do you have any plans for the lock to timeout to prevent the graveyards of useless vehicles, um, often full of gear, from clogging the map even more? All unused trucks are enemy trucks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of give my two cents on this. Um, I agree and disagree. Now, why I do? What do I agree with? I wish the whole all unused trucks are enemy trucks. No, um, it does. The prevention of graveyards of useless vehicles would be nice because what you do see, and hopefully we will start stop seeing because the game is going into early access, um, is a player would hop on, build a truck, say, hey, I hate this, lock it, and we can never use it again. You know, maybe had some BMATs or something. So maybe something that we could see, and maybe an elite edition of this, is if it's... um not moved or used by that player or squad for two days either i'm saying real world days not uh, in-game days then it should be it should go ahead and be unlocked now i don't know the whole logistics behind that when it comes to coding or anything but um you know i i, I kind of agree with that um nice the resource moving on to the next one nice the resource change might be as bad as it might be bad as it takes some inter interactivity interactivity of the game but at the same time it could be better for gameplay now all we need is a fix to the random get stuck in place glitch when you try to heal someone okay I don't think English is that guy's first language there uh, I think basically what he's saying is he likes it thinks it might take out some of the microing in the game um, he would like to see the glitch where when you're getting healed you just get frozen in place cool oh man i can't use the at turret to kill infantry anymore i agree conscript i i agree i i i never did it myself i kind of hated it but i know um uh, there was a few times where i'd hit it i hit it in a tree and uh it was on callahan's i want to say you couldn't see it i think if i still have the screenshot i'll uh show it but uh, you could not see it if i had that hit and you could hide in trees too hmg you wait for an, a patrol where trucks pass by boom light them up Ooh, very effective but um another bug i would like to see um i know it's been reported and it's been working on but you know just to highlight it is the um truck going up on two wheels and staying there um and it's kind of hard to get it unstuck i don't think i haven't seen anyone be able to do it before um you know that was a glitch i would like to see fixed but Man, for a short video, this ended up being 15 minutes. Anyway, I've been JakeFox84. If you liked the video, I guess liked it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. Uh, you know, let me know why you hated it. Let me know why you loved it. Uh, let me know on your opinions on this new uh, awesome dev blog. I mean, they finally, they're starting to fix logistics. Woohoo! I want to see my uh, harvester, though. Player profiles. And I had an accepted suggestion, maybe. Granted, I don't know if this was already planned, but hey, in my heart, I knew it was accepted. Anyways, guys, I've been Jake Fox 84 Thank you for watching, and have a great day.